In any country occupied by the Nazis, the Gestapo appeared almost instantly. The task of the Gestapo specialists was to beat testimony out of the detainees. The aims and methods of interrogation have become an example of one of the most inhumane practices in modern history. And Gestapo executioners have become one of the most terrible phenomena, perhaps in all human history. Torture in France Women often suffer it much more than men, because the Gestapo, in addition to physical torture, also actively use psychological torment. It is known that in France, since the beginning of mass raids, the Gestapo officially destroyed about 40,000 people by court verdicts. However, what the prisoners endured in the torture chambers defies any understanding. In already mentioned France, women as well as men had their toes broken or cut off. Needles and splinters were driven under their nails, their legs were torn off, and they were beaten to a pulp with whips woven from bull tendons. Electric shocks and dipping in ice-cold water until the prisoner began to choke were common. But in order to force a woman or a girl to speak, the Gestapo used some additional tools to completely break a person. Since a woman always cares about her look, terrible methods were used to destroy women's appearance and morale. The Gestapo enjoyed disfiguring faces, and this process sometimes lasted more than a week. During an interrogation, a girl could be cut a few times on her face, or cut off part of her ear, or the tip of her nose. They could pull out a girl's hair from the root, pull out her nails, or completely disfigure a woman. Finally, probably thinking that the legs of a woman are no less important, the Gestapo disfigured them, making deep cuts and breaking bones. In addition to physical torture for women, the condition of detention were no less terrible torture. In a small cell, designed for a maximum of five, up to 20 people could be kept at the same time. The inability to see natural needs, terrible and sanitary condition, lies and dirt for the girls were unbearable torture. General condition of detention increased the likelihood of contracting an infection hundreds if not thousands of times. With that, the girls were often not allowed into the fresh air. They were forbidden to communicate with their relatives and were kept in complete isolation. In France, in the field of the invention of torture, a certain Masui became most famous, who often interrupted interrogation to drink tea, coffee, and even cognac. According to some reports, he even shared it with an unfortunate woman. When a woman already thought that the torture was over, the executioner finished his coffee and started again. Perhaps someone will not believe that this was possible, but history has preserved the memory of those who managed to survive even in such inhumane conditions. For example, intelligence officer Odette Hellows went through the Gestapo dungeons where her nails were pulled out and heated iron was applied to her back. French resistance fighter Violetta Chabot survived their real hell. According to eyewitnesses, when she and a group of prisoners were taken to be shot, the beautiful and charming girl who Shabo was before her arrest remained only a memory. In front of the firing squad stood a woman who had aged several decades and in whom it was difficult to identify Violetta Shabo. Violetta remained in the memory of the executioners because she was the only one of all the condemned who managed to meet her death in the face. The rest could not even turn around and were shot from behind. British intelligence agent Eileen Nern miraculously survived the torture chambers. She remembered the Gestapo only in the context of torture in the bathroom. Nern described it this way. The investigator immediately told me, you are a spy and we have to wait to make you talk. Then I was taken to a room where there was a bath. They tried to get me to admit that I was a spy. The most terrible torture was drowning when a person was immersed in a bath of water. Norwegian House of Horror that was the name of the building in the Norwegian city of Kristiansand. Unlike the French colleagues, the Gestapo from Norway tried not to use torture on women such as beating with chains, passing electrical current, and hitting the head with electricity. The sadism of the executioner in Norway was that they specially invented even more terrible torture for women. For example, they mutilated their hands and crushed their joints. But psychological torture was much worse for women. For example, when in front of a wife, the Gestapo mutilated her husband or beat her children, who were specially brought for interrogation. Sometimes the executioners changed and in front of the husband's eyes they could cripple, beat or even rape his wife. 
According to some reports, the Gestapo executioners even raped teenage girls in the House of Terror in front of their distraught mothers. How much this shocked Norway can be illustrated by this fact. Even before the Second World War, there was no death penalty in the country. Or rather, it was practically not used. But all the identified and detained executioners who tortured citizens were publicly hanged in 1947. The Norwegian authorities even specially changed the penal code for this purpose. This is probably the only case in the last two or three centuries of mass execution for crimes in Norway. Hell in a Cell Often the Gestapo tried to consider the location of its building. To be fair, it must be said that in relatively peaceful European countries, the Nazis tried to hide the facts of torture in their dungeons as much as possible. But in other countries, such as Yugoslavia, the Baltic states or Poland, the Gestapo did not even pretend to observe any rules of decency. For example, in the dungeons of Riga, in addition to beating women, they were tortured in accordance with local specifics. Women were stripped naked and forced to dance. According to Zorikin, a former Gestapo prisoner in Riga, the women were in a living hell. Women were especially brutally persecuted. In Poland, the Gestapo often used an ordinary bathroom, which the prisoner considered the place of the most terrible torture. Until now, it is not known for certain to what level of atrocities the Gestapo reached, but the imitation of drowning, which former prisoner recalled with a shudder, judging by some reports, was widely developed and changed. In any case, there is a lot of evidence that women simply could not stand the torture of the Gestapo and went crazy. Mass torture of women was also used. For example, the so-called cold torture during the heat is known. The prisoners were driven into the shower room and let in water. Initially, girls and women rejoiced at the unexpected opportunity to wash off dirt, blood, dried wounds and insects. At least a little. However, the shower kept going. Moreover, the drains worked poorly. After some time, the prisoners began to understand that something was wrong. Despite screams and requests, no one opened the shower door and after a while, the prisoners were standing almost chest deep in ice-cold water. The horror was that the sun was shining brightly outside and it was hot. One of the prisoners standing in such a shower room said, It will not pass without a trace. Sooner or later it will cause a serious illness. Of course, if anyone survives. And of course, one cannot but mention the most terrible torture. The torture of dignity. Young and pretty girls and women were often raped even before being sent to the cells. Sometimes the women in the cells were forced to undress and then taken out into the corridor, along both walls of which the Germans stood. Men commented loudly and without choosing expressions and deliberately laughed loudly. But the worst thing was for women who got into the Gestapo pregnant. Here the Gestapo began a real orgy of madness and horror. These women were beaten and kicked. Sometimes, right during the interrogation, a woman could give birth. Therefore, there is nothing surprising in the fact that, as already mentioned, many women simply could not stand this level of brutality, humiliation, physical and moral pain, and lost their minds.